Hi guys, it's me, Coralie, from the Centripe's Heritage Museum. Uh, I'm sharing with you all Chaptique. So Chaptique is an important part of Okanagan culture, well, a lot of First Nation culture. Oral stories have always been there to pass on how things came to be, but also within these stories, they carry our values and they carry our morals, and they teach us what it actually means to be an Okanagan. The stories talk about forgiveness and bravery and how there's always a place for someone within the community. A lot of the monsters that are in these stories, they're not killed off indefinitely. They are transformed and repurposed and they end up becoming medicine. And I think that's such an important thing that we need to remember as a people is those are the lessons that we really got to hang on to is the, the value of redemption and forgiveness and the, the strength that comes from a united community. It is story time with Senchu Weeps and I feel like today's a good day for a buffalo story. I don't know, it just felt right. And so the Okanagan word for buffalo is kwaisp. So as always, Coyote is walking along. And as he's going throughout the plains, he comes across a big buffalo skull in the, in the ground. And he picks it up and he remembers all the time that big buffalo would chase him. So he was just like, ha ha, you're dead, you suck. So he would skick dirt into his, uh, his eye holes and he'd spit on them and he kicked them around the field a couple times. And when he was bored, he left the skull and began on his way. As he's walking, he hears a big rumble behind him. He turns around and he sees that all of that jerkiness that he did to that skull brought Big Buffalo back to life to come and kill him. So Coyote is now running for his life. He calls upon his spirit power and he grows three big trees out of the ground. He climbs up the first tree and he's thinking he's safe. He's like, ha ha, Buffalo, you're too fat, you can't climb trees. Well, Buffalo, he takes one of his horns and he slams it into the trunk of the tree and it falls. Coyote hits the ground with a big thud. He gets up, shakes off his headache, and he runs to the second tree. He climbs up and he's thinking again, he's safe. Well, Buffalo comes and he slams his other horn into the trunk and that tree falls to the ground. Coyote, he gets up and he runs to his third and final tree and he climbs all the way up and he says, what now, Buffalo? Both your horns are wrecked. And Buffalo says, don't need them. And begins to lean his body against the little brittle tree. And that tree starts to bend. And Coyote says, no, 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 no. Just kidding. Hey, don't kill me. I could be a big help to you. And Buffalo says, no, what, what can you do for me? And Coyote says, well, your, your horns are kind of shabby looking. That's probably why you died. What happened? And Buffalo says, you know what, Coyote? I don't need this from you. I'm dealing with my own stuff. Some young Buffalo came and he killed me and he took my herd and I'm, I'm not chuffed about it. And Coyote says, oh, well, Grandpa, let me help you. So he takes the, the tree, his final tree, gets down and he takes off the pitch and he burns it and he uses his tobacco <clears throat> to give him the tools that he needs to carve buffalo, these nice big black horns. And he puts them on buffalo and buffalo's really happy. He's like, oh man, these, these kick butt. I'm going to go use these. So off he goes and he kills young buffalo and gets his herd back. And Buffalo is so happy, he says, hey man, you know what, I know down in the Okanagan Valley you have no buffalo. Tell you what, take one of my cows and take her back to your land. And Coyote says, oh, that's awesome, but Buffalo stops. There's a rule, like don't eat her until you make it back to your land. Okay, Coyote, look at me, look at me, don't eat her. Coyote says, okay. He says, if you're hungry, just slice off a little bit of fat, eat that, and then like rub some ash into the wound, she'll grow back. Coyote's like, okay. So off they go with his new cow, and he does just that. He's eating the fat off her, he's having a good time. But Coyote's always hungry and he's very impulsive, so pretty much fat was not doing it for him. So he pulls out a knife and he kills the cow, and he, before he could even tuck into the delicious meat, a whole bunch of ravens and crows uh, descended down and ate up all the meat and flew away. And Coyote's like, no! But as he's picking up the bones and, and sniffling, uh, a lady comes just out of nowhere and she says, oh, 
That's some pretty nice looking bones and lots of good looking marrow. I could make you a soup if you want. And Coyote's like, heck yeah, I love bone soup. So she gets a big pot out of nowhere and she starts boiling these bones. And she says, tell you what, Coyote, you go have a nap and I'll have this soup ready for you. So Coyote goes and he has a nap and a little bit of time goes by, he wakes up and she is not there. He gets up and he looks at the pot. It has boiled to nothing. There is no water in this pot. And he he's angry. He's like, where are my bones? I am so hungry. This is not my day. And he's looking over and he sees on the horizon, this lady is just running. She's just hauling butt with these bones. And Coyote starts chasing after her. Murder on his mind. And as he runs, she'll actually stop and taunt him. She'll be like, Ooh, come get the marrow. I'm going to eat it. And he's like, no, don't. So he chases after her more. And she leads him all the way back to Big Buffalo. She presses those bones against her and she turns back into the cow that he had eaten. And she tells Big Buffalo everything what happened. And when Coyote comes and he goes, oh, oh. That was a big hill, sorry. Whew. Buffalo, um, my, my cow ran away, can I have another one? And Buffalo says, no, you, you messed up, bud. And he says, your people are gonna have to travel a long ways to get some buffalo meat. And Coyote then had to move along. And that's why we don't have buffalo in the area, but we did know of buffalo.